So to facilitate the early diagnosis in Taiwan, a stool color card system led to a decline of late referral. And uh, this is one reason why it's regarded as simple and promising screening approach. And consider adding direct bilirubin in the initial part, as we said. And in a large series which examined 743 infants with bilirubin atresia, this is the uh, survival rate. So we see that it progressively drops and still even with a reasonably successful procedure, you still need liver transplant. Of course, the success of the liver transplant and the ease of doing the procedure becomes better as a child survives longer. Survival rates with native liver decreased and age at surgery increased from 45 days to 90 days and early diagnosis and treatment is key. So this is the stool card test. I would suggest that all of you keep a copy of it in your clinic and also discuss with the family. So any pale colored stool is abnormal and you have different consistencies and textures of normal stool. So we discussed this already that you can diagnose by looking at the conjugated jaundice in the early newborn period. So they looked at it both retrospectively, in which case all the 34 babies with bilirubin had raised conjugated bilirubin. And uh, prospective evaluation of more than 11,000 newborns, they found uh, four cases with cholestasis. 